My beloved people of God, I greet you all in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm able to see you again. I praise God for that. Every day with Holy Spirit named this program, I believe that it is useful for you. I believe that God is speaking to you. I see a lot of people write in the comment section, okay? And it is a great joy. And, and what more important is when, when you hear this message, you're introducing it to many other people because we are in the last day and we should not lean upon our own understanding, the knowledge from the education. Because of the money, we get knowledge and friends counsel. We should not go and stuck into that. Only the Holy Spirit should guide you. Amen. And you should have the guidance of the Holy Spirit for it. And it is very, very important. Okay. On this day, Children of God, let's turn to Mark chapter 9 and verses 28. This is the word for this day. Let me read it for you. When he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? Amen. He asked him privately. There are some things which we can do and there are some things we can't do. Because we can't do it, you should not think that I don't have that grace. Or my God has not honored me. Or I am away from God. Or God would have forsaken me. You should not think like that in a negative way. So what we should do? You should take time and you should go into the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And you should speak to the Holy Spirit. Amen. On that day Jesus was in flesh. And these disciples went to him privately and spoke when he was in the house. But now, He is in us. He is among us in the Spirit. Go to Him and speak to Him. Say that I am unable to overcome this. I am unable to leave this anger. Sometimes hastily I do some things and then I cry for it. So Lord, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, just guide me. What should I do? Why am I unable to do this? You should ask God for it. If it is possible, husband and wife, you should speak to each other. Go privately and speak. When you ask, God will say, the same incidence is in Matthew chapter 17. In Mark 9 also be read it. So in Mark 9, he says that this devil will not live by fasting and prayer. Because of that only you had failure. But in Matthew chapter 17, he he says, because of your unbelief, you were unable to do it. He says, you don't have faith. That's how Jesus handles. So, like that in your life, there may be some failures. Let me tell you one thing. Your failures are the steps to move forward. So, you are going to change the failures into victory. Because my Redeemer lives. Do you believe it? Shall we pray? Lord, why I'm unable to do it? Why I can't do it? Why it was impossible for me? Why I'm unable to do? Why I was unable to live a holy life? Why I'm unable to forget my past life? Let me tell you one thing. You have a Spirit of God who gives you victory. Shall we pray? Lord, everyone who said that I'm unable to do, I can't. From today, you are the God who can make them prosperous. Today, the God who gives us victory, lead them in a miraculous way. Let your holy name be glorified. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Hallelujah. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, you will have a joy in you, right? Keep the joy within you. There are so many people who are unable to have this joy. Peace shared to them. All those who speak in Hindi, go to the Hindi dubbed one. You can share it to them also. Amen. God's name will be glorified. If God wills, we'll meet you again. God bless you. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalaya Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, 7299-54242. Email ID gpsrobinson at hotmail.com gps.office at jesusmeets.org Website address www.gpsrobinson.org